The state's hospital capacity is in jeopardy. That was the dire update from the governor and his lead health director today. His latest press conference, a long way from the ones we were seeing just a month ago when they tended to be about reopening the economy. There are some of the concerning stats health experts are now looking at. On Monday, the state saw nearly 1,050 new positive coronavirus cases, the most since March, and going hand in hand with that number, our statewide positivity rate. The number of people tested who come back positive has now reached 6.4%. The World Health Organization says an infection rate of more than 5% means a community shouldn't even be trying to reopen. As for our daily rates here in Southern Colorado. They support that sense of urgency. El Paso County with another triple digit day coming in with 103 new cases and two new deaths. Pueblo also elevated with 37 new cases and one new death. Teller County has not reported a new case in the last two days, but that outbreak tied to the state prison complex in Fremont County continues to impact totals there. 33 cases today, bringing Fremont County's two day total to 69. Let's bring in Chase Go Lightly now, who's been tracking these alarming figures all day. And Chase, the current numbers we're seeing are not looking good for hospitals like Memorial Central behind you, which could be quickly over overwhelmed if we don't get control of this thing before the busy holiday season. Heather Bard here at UC Health. I'm told there are fewer than 20 hospitalizations at this time, but with that massive influx we've seen in, in COVID-19 cases, it's possible it could be a completely different story within the next week. 1,000 COVID-19 cases in just one day. The highest the state has seen since March when the pandemic took over Colorado. This is a major risk for our health and our economy if it continues this way. Governor Jared Polis warning Coloradans about the alarming trend on Tuesday, saying Colorado is well above the recommended positivity rate of 5% put out by the World Health Organization, saying we only have a few weeks to get back on track or face increasing restrictions. We've got to get these numbers down, uh, and if this trend continues, our hospital capacity will be in jeopardy. As of now, there are 290 hospitalizations across the state, the highest it's been since May, with nearly 80% of Colorado's ICU beds currently taken. For El Paso County, there have been 41 hospitalizations so far this month, nearly double the amount we saw during the first two weeks of September. That is concerning. That's, that's not where we want to be. Public Health Director Susan Whelan spoke about the county's trends on Tuesday, saying our positivity is just under 5%, which is unsustainable. The bad news is, is that, that there is no single source. We cannot blame it on any single source. There's increased activities. Another likely factor for increases, people are simply growing tired of dealing with COVID-19. Let's face it, um, there's pandemic fatigue. Um, our social distancing, according to the state epidemiologist, has went from 65% down to 55% percent statewide. But both Wheeland and Polis say Coloradans really can't afford to let up. Holidays are coming up, along with air travel, family gatherings, and cold weather that will drive even more people indoors, all creating a domino effect that will put us further at risk. Some things the governor says that people can do to help alleviate these numbers is, of course, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, and really try to limit those social interactions. He also says getting tested, if you believe you have COVID-19, could also bring down those numbers. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Chase Whiteley, KRDO News Channel 13.